Today we're going to talk about how to install MAMP on your Mac and then how to install GLPI. Now GLPI is an inventory system. It allows us to track at our school, allows us to track our computers and our iPads and um, really pretty much anything else we would want to put in there with maybe the exception of books. It's not going to replace your destiny or fall it. So let's not get too crazy. Uh, and what MAP does is MAP is, will turn the Mac that I install this on, it will turn it into a server. And what that means is, as long as that computer is up and running, as long as MAMP is up and running, I can access the GLPI database, the inventory system, from any other computer uh, on that local network. So as soon as if, so for example, if I have it running on my school network and I leave school, I cannot access it anymore. I have to be on that network in order to access it. So if you got an old um, iMac or an old Mac Mini or maybe an old MacBook Pro, it'll work. Now there are other free software out there. Xamp is one. And Xamp will work on Mac and Windows. And of course you have WinWamp. Um, and that works just on Windows. Now MAMP stands for, M is for Mac, A is for Apache, M is for MySQL, and P is for uh, PHP. Um, as you can see right there, my Apache, MySQL, and PHP, and the M is, M is for Mac. So MAMP will only run on a Mac. So the first thing you gotta do is go to the MAMP website and download it. Now I'm speeding this up a little bit. As you can see, it's, it's you know, it's, it's a little large, it's 330. Um, so here, I'm gonna speed that up right there. And then once I've got it, I'm just gonna go ahead and install it. And I, again, I'm speeding this up a little bit. Um, it, it's pretty simple. Now, when you install it, what's going to happen? And this is at first, when I first saw this, I was a little confused. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on here? What, what do I do now? What, what's going on? Um, here we go here. I'm going to bring the screen down a little bit and yeah, I'm just, just something a Mac will do. Um, and I'm going to go, go and I'm going to go to my applications here and I'm going to go ahead and launch map. And the first time, now you see there's MAMP and MAMP Pro. MAMP Pro costs money. They both install, but MAMP is completely free. So just, I'm running MAMP. So I'm going to open up the MAMP folder. And I'm going to come find the elephant icon that says MAMP. There, there it is. Yeah, don't delete any of that other stuff. Leave all that stuff where it is. Don't delete anything. And I'm going to launch MAMP, and this is going to pop up. It's going to ask me, do you want to start a server? So yeah, I'm going to click that and say yes. And it takes a few seconds. It doesn't immediately do it. But what it does is it'll start the Apache server. Um, I'm sorry, the MySQL server and then the Apache server. And you can see those little boxes up there in the top right-hand corner. They get little dots inside of them. And then it's going to open up a web page, a localhost.888 slash map. You can see it up there. And that's what it's going to do. And this is letting you know that this web page, again, I could access this web page on any computer. That's no help for for us right now because we don't really have anything running on this, um, any databases or anything really running here. Um, this stuff we're gonna need, um, the, the host and the user and password, and that's really it. We don't have to do anything else. We don't need to go to the tools or PHP info or anything like that. So now I'm gonna jump over to GLPI. I got some kids in the hallway here getting noisy, so you'll just have to forgive that. Uh, and GLPI, again, is free. It's open source, it's inventory, and if you have a really simple, I mean, we're a small school with simple me needs uh, in this regard. So GLPI is perfect for us. So we're going to get GLPI, and as you can see, it says .tgz, which is um, a compressed file. I'm going to say show and finder, and I'm just going to double click it here, and it's going to extract it. And all it's going to do is, it's going to just extract it. Now I have a GLPI folder. Great, now there's nothing else you have to do there with that. There's, in order to install it, and this is really easy, make sure you have your map open, your map, um, that, you know, that's still open, right? And there's a folder in there called htdocs, and I wanna drag my GLPI to the htdocs folder. There it is, that's the trickiest part. Now GLPI is in the map server, and we can now access it. So let's, let's, we're going to come back to map. And up here in the address bar, I'm going to erase a bunch of it, uh, but not all of it. I want to keep the local host, 
Yep, and then I'm just gonna slash GLPI. Now what this is going to do is now install GLPI on the MAMP server. And here we go, we got our setup going. Um, because GLPI is, is open source and it's French, and it may ask you to translate, just ignore that. Um, yeah, you say you I've read and I accept it. Everything is going very, very swimmingly right now. I'm gonna continue. Um, and you're just gonna just click install. Now I got two error messages there in the middle of there. Um, I just ignore them. For me, they don't seem to be a big issue. It doesn't affect anything. And now it wants to know the SQL server, the SQL username, and the SQL password. We're gonna go back to that MAMP page. And right there are, that's localhost, and username and password are root. So localhost, our SQL user is root. It's right there, root. And I see the password is also root. So I'm gonna come here and just do root. And root again. And I hit continue. <laughs> Check this out. It says, okay, um, I already had one on there, so I'm just creating it from scratch. So I'm gonna say, create a new database, give it a name. I'm gonna call it inventory. And click continue. It's gonna wait for a second here. And it says it was, yeah, success. Oh, database created successfully. Click continue. Um, yeah, do you wanna send use it? That's up to you. Um, and now here it says default login passwords are GLPI, GLPI for the administrator account. That's the one you want. Um, and click use GLPI. I'm not sure what happened here. I'm gonna say login again. I'm gonna type in GLPI and password GLPI. And I'm gonna click post. <laughs> I guess that's some, and check out the magic folks. There we are. Now you're in. Now you can go, you can add assets, you can add users. You can add locations, you can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. Um, but there's your database. Uh, now they have, it says for security reasons, there's a big security and it tells you exactly where to go. And that's just so you can delete some stuff. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.